Welcome to my wrap up video for the Indominus Coast to Coast Challenge. This is phase one, the Assault Intercessor Squad, and our judge is the Miniatures Apothecary. You can find him at Mini Apothecary on Twitter and find the rest of his links there. I have trouble pronouncing the word apothecary, and I don't know why I didn't look for a judge who's named Joe the Painter, but we're happy to have him on board. He's judging all the way from England and this is my presentation for him to take a peek at all the work I've done over the last four weeks. My buddy Tech Jedi who lives all the way in Connecticut on the East Coast is my competition. We both have the Indominus box set of Games Workshop Warhammer 40k fame and our first phase was to build the Assault Intercessor Squad. I built mine in two two different squads uh, one was the raptor chapter which i kind of like because they look more militaristic and according to some of the lore i've read they put the mission above anything else the other five i did as the ultramarines otherwise known as the smurf army i took um the squad of these guys and put the caution tape on the chain swords like they had in older pictures i remember when i first learned about it back in the early 2000s um back then they had bright green bases and caution tape on their chain swords and i kind of combined um the modern primaris marines with the look of the cautions on the chain swords because i really hate the chain swords and would have preferred the swords or something else in their left hands but i didn't have enough pieces to do some conversions i did double gun up the sergeant for the ultramarines so i gave him, him a laser pistol and a regular pistol and the rest of the guys have one bolter and one um chain sword uh i'm looking at some of the pictures and i see all the mistakes i made but we did have a time limit on this build it was four weeks for phase one and the goal was to really build these to a parade finish and i think i've accomplished that i did try a whole bunch of techniques i've been learning and i did some weathering and as i watch this video i'm seeing all the parts that i missed uh i forgot the pupils on the sergeant um <laughs> he has white eyeballs but i forgot to add a pupil and he, his teeth are, are white, I can see. Uh, his bionic hand, and I didn't do the objective source lighting very well on his laser pistol, but that was the first time I tried OSL. So for a first time, it's pretty good. And that was kind of the point of this whole thing. Uh, we both like to build models. We both like the Warhammer. Um, AJ Tech Jedi is interested in playing um i'm not so much but i really like science fiction and i really like the lore and these game shop workshops and miniatures are just freaking awesome you know especially the primaris version um the older versions they were like kind of cute in their proportions but the, i only had one box of those just because they were cute but these primaris marines they look a little bit tougher and I've never built Necrons, so I'm looking forward to that part of the challenge. So I think I accomplished the mission of a parade ready Marine um, who's ready for the tabletop. The basing was the first time I based because uh, my goal, since I'm not a player, is to use some of these guys in miniature di sci fi dioramas. So I don't tend to base any of the five or six figures that I've painted because I eventually wanted the bases to match. But for the rules, um, our ultra, or I'm, I'm sorry, not our ultramarines, but our space Marines in general need to be based and the Necrons need to be based. But the goal is to build the space Marines to tabletop standard or better and the Necrons will be built for speed. Uh, we're going to start with the assault intercessors because we want to build up to the more expensive models, the character models. 
you know, there's some really great work being done out there and I want to learn how to paint like that. Um, competing against myself for the most part, because I want to be better for me. I thoroughly enjoy this. Um, it's helping me to build social media. I never posted anything on YouTube other, other than airplane startup noises. And I don't have quite the following, but I'm not in it for a following. I'm not in it for recognition. I'm in it to share my work with AJ and the judges and to have a lot of fun. And that's what it's all about. So mission accomplished. Um, I've never spoken into YouTube videos. I've only played them with whatever sound they came with. I've never narrated anything. And I attempted to write scripts for my first couple of videos, but it doesn't flow naturally. So the rest of my videos, including this one, are all free thinking. I do go back and take out the uh, 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 ands, ums, and the blank pauses. But I am basically winging this, and that's... <laughs> <laughs> That's, believe it or not, it's better than when I try to write out a script. So in summation, this is my phase one video for the Intercessor Assault Marines. I just like to say that I'm a big fan of the Beatles. I love Graham Norton, Top Gear, and the IT crowd. I've seen Billy Idol in concert twice. And go Arsenal! <laughs>